Hi, this is me again. Uh, I am occupying your virtual online space, so sorry about that. I've just attended the Brain Exchange launch where we discuss MS and COVID. We had a very interesting discussion starting with uh, B cell depletion therapy and whether the MS services continued that treatment. So initially everyone agreed that there was a such a confusion what to do in terms of whether to start, stop or complete the cycles of the medicine. So there was a peri period of time that there was no activity in prescribing. And then the, the criteria has eased in the majority of the country. So the tablet form, injectable interference were continued. And some services um, use the cladribin treatment because the, the evidence uh, suggests that CD4 and CD8 um, reduction is transient and is safe in, in pandemic. So, so the physicians, um, Elizabeth Goswin, um, she, she, she has got ex experience in using cladribin in pandemic as well as some clinicians su su suggested that in Brazil they haven't stopped um, prescribing cladribin. So that was interesting and um, also we discussed about the responses to vaccination being on the anti-CD20 therapies or B cell depletion therapies and uh, the advice, the current advice the neurologist would provide to people that um, they say that let's wait until the vaccine is, uh, is developed and then we will have these discussions later because the vaccine depends, uh, depends what the spe 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 specificity that the vaccine has got and whether the vaccine epitopes um, themselves um, uh, what are they like and 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 people on B cell therapy may still respond to vaccines very nicely so the evidence is at the moment due to the reduced vaccine efficacy on CD20 therapy is not efficient at the moment so everyone feels that it's appropriate to continue start or start uh, anti CD20 therapy so um Patients who presented with a, a coronavirus um, and it, the people who required admission to the hospital in the USA uh, hospitals, so they were uh, much older people and they had a significant um, disability. Um, some of them were on Tysabri infusions and they did well, recovered well being on this um, medicine. Um, some people following the recovery of the coronavirus uh, developed um, a relapse of the MS and there were some pseudo relapses during the, the coronavirus infection as you would normally expect somebody who has got infection people do get unwell and uh, quite common symptom uh, with the presentation of coronavirus or COVID-19 infection was extreme extreme fatigue a lot of people reported that it, it was more than normal fatigue. So yeah, um, that's that's about it. And um, in terms of the what to advise people on shielding, and should we um, tell people to stay at home or work from home? Um, I think it, at the end of the day, it's a very individual, personalized decision um, and we have to look at case by case in a way and we have to wait, staying at home versus going to work, what, what is the benefit of, of staying and as you know, people can mentally be affected by staying at home and they still have to resume their social, so social life, although keeping their social distance. Um, yeah, so that's um, that's about it. And um, one of the physicians from France um, suggested that the cases are growing exponentially, thousands of people a day, a day at the moment, and that they're experiencing a second wave of coronavirus um, in France. So, so yeah, I, I hope that you enjoyed that. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, uh, Bye now.